There are two basic kinds of hip implants. When, when you have osteoarthritis or a hip injury and need to have the joint replaced, there are two basic uh, implants that are used. Uh, one is called uh, metal on metal, and that's where you have a metal ball attached to your femur, the large bone in your leg, and a metal cup or acetabular shell which fixes into the pelvis. And the cup and the ball mimic the natural joint. There are also hip implants that use a ceramic or metal ball but with a polyethylene or plastic liner inside the metal cup to mimic the cartilage and natural movement of the joint. Over the last two years, there has been a lot of evidence in both the medical literature and published in the lay press about problems with people having the metal on metal hips. The main problem with it is that we are finding that there is a sloughing off of the metal between the ball and the cup. And the metal in the ball and the cup is made out of chromium and cobalt. And what happens is particles of this metal slough off and enter the body tissues. That can cause a whole bunch of problems. Number one, it can cause an aseptic reaction, a non-bacterial reaction in most cases, into the body tissues. That can destroy tissue, it can destroy muscle, and it can cause destruction of bone. And what we're seeing in metal-on-metal -metal implants is this destruction of bone, a loosening of that acetabular cup requiring what's called a revision surgery, where they have to go back in, take out the implant, and put a new one in. That is bad, but what's even worse is there is growing evidence that the accumulation of cobalt and chromium in the body, in the bloodstream, increases one's risk of other problems including cancer and genetic damage. Uh, the studies are just coming out on that now, but there were a lot of studies on the toxicity of cobalt and chromium that date back into the 70s.